income. Well, child care fees have jumped just before the government's new subsidy kicks in on July 1. Surprise. One of Australia's largest childcare providers increasing fees by almost 10% this year alone. Mum of two and founder of Working Mama, Karina O'Brien, joins us now from Melbourne. Karina, good morning to you. Nice to see you this morning. Well, maybe I'm cynical, maybe I'm right. What do you think? No, it is definitely a, a challenge for parents. And look, I received my second letter this year on Friday telling me how much my fees have also increased. So it's it's tough and it hurts. And I had certainly a lot of frustration when I got that letter on Friday. You know, and this is the thing. We know that there are problems inside the sector in attracting staff and the wages and increase of inflationary pressures around the whole sector. But is there any justification for the increases that we've seen that you've seen so far? It's great to see that some of these increases are going to be going towards the educators and they're certainly well deserved. Mm. Uh, the other increases are also, they claim, are going to go towards uh, edu um, uh, tax, uh, rent, electricity mm. and also due to the rising cost of food. So, But the best way is hopefully they're all flowing through as well to the educators. So you're OK with it? I mean, or, or you do this really want to tell Australia how you feel? <laughs> uh, I'm definitely not always okay with it, but once I look, I was frustrated. Yeah. What I then did was is actually go on to the childcare subsidy calculator, and I did a comparison with June compared to July with the new government childcare How subsidy. How much will it help? It'll help it for the average family that's earning about $120,000 a year, two kids in childcare for three days a week they will be generally about $50 a week better off. So as much as the increases do hurt um, at when we just see get those emails, but thanks to the new increases in the childcare subsidy, parents will actually be better off, which is a great thing to see. It's just the timing that sucks, right? Um, do you have any advice um, for, for parents out there who are struggling with a whole myriad uh, of uh, expenses at the moment, including yourself? Yeah, I think also know that you're not alone and that's a really big part of it, that you're not the only part of it. And also look at childcare not as just a, a an expense against generally the mm. primary caregiver. So look at this as a combined family expense, just like we would with the grocery bills. And also what the positive impacts are for early uh, our children on early childcare. So there's a lot of opportunities there, but also then encouraging female workforce participation. And there are a lot of short as well as long-term uh, positive impacts with increasing um, female workforce. Finally, do you think the, the, um, the cost will go up again? Yes, sadly. This is the second increase I know for me personally that I've experienced this year. So I'm ensure that there'll be, there'll be more to come, which is really sad. There you go. It's sad indeed. Thank you so much for being with us. Appreciate your honesty. Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?